yards. We were cruising through a neighborhood that uh, had been hit pretty hard for vehicle burglaries recently. Um, it was dark outside, saw a guy on a bicycle with no lights on. We rolled up to check him out and he started riding away from us as uh, I was trying to talk to him. Hit him with some lights, tried to get him to stop, and uh, rather than stopping, he uh, mashed on those pedals and took off. So westbound on Ethel. Uh, I tried to cut him off in a few driveways uh, to stop him and he was able to squeak around my car. Um, finally, I was able to cut him off and he hopped off the bike and went running through yards, jumped over a fence. Southbound the yards. Stop, please. Get on the ground! Uh, Get on the ground! Uh, Put your hands out! Uh, Get your hand behind your back! I am Put your hand behind your back! Got one resisting in the backyard. Um, as soon as he goes over that second fence, I see him toss something. I was able to hold him down, grab him, and able to handcuff him and take him into custody. He and I had a, a moment where we recognized each other. And... Long time no see, man. What's that? Bermudez. What's up, Bermudez? Stand up. Haven't seen you since the Colton days. Oh. Actually, mm -hmm. seven. I'm code four with one in custody. And he tossed a gun. In the past uh, encounters I've had with this guy, uh, he's a pretty fast runner. But in this particular case, he had kept riding for several blocks on the bicycle, which actually worked to my benefit because he got kind of tired pedaling away for so long. Dude, you're not as fast as you used to be, bro. You used to be damn fast. I was tired from the damn bike right now. I remember when you used to like run across like barbed wire fences and stuff. Damn, dude. After it was all said and done, after the chase was over and he knew he was caught, he had mellowed out and become pre became pretty cooperative and cool. He was upset, but more upset at himself for being in possession of a firearm, knowing he's probably going back to prison again than with me for actually just doing my job and catching him. I mean, obviously, you know what it is. Ex-con with a gun, you know the role. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just make better choices next time. I know, I know. You, know, you don't want to get yourself hurt, don't, you know, obvious one of us don't want to hey, get um, hurt. So what's going to be my charge besides the gun? Just Failing with the firearm and whatever you got to deal with your parole. All right, cool, thank you. Cool. All right, man. Hey, I'm sorry, my bad, you know, it's nothing personal, you understand? Know I don't understand. I don't um, see it as personal. Anytime we get to arrest someone with a gun, especially a, a felon or a gang member like that, it's a great thing because we don't know what their intention is you know, with a gun. But anytime we can take a firearm away from one of those guys, it's a great capture for us because we're keeping the citizens safe, keeping other officers safe, and you're trying to keep the community safe. They're gonna bail out. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get, show me your hands! Show me your hands! 23, we got the driver. Stand up. What's your name? David. Huh? David. David, how old are you? 14. 14. 